call the March 24th, 2020 regular meeting of council to order uh, adoption of the agenda under 2.1, Councillor G, Councillor Blanchette, uh, any additions? Hearing none, all in favor? Opposed on the phone? Motion carries. Uh, public comment under 3.1 on items on the uh, considered by council as part of the approved agenda. Uh, just a preamble, uh, be civil, uh, talk about anything on the agenda, uh, keep it to two minutes, and please don't raise public hearings at this time. Are there any public comments? Seeing none from the gallery, we have one written public comment. Good day, Mayor, Mr. Robinson, members of Council, Mrs. McNee. As the council meetings are limited to five people from the public, these are two, two, my two comments for tonight's agenda. Food security, after a winter closure, due to my husband's eye problem, we are glad and thankful to say that we are able to bake bread and pastry orders. We are considered an essential business. And after yesterday's phone call with the health inspector following all strict measures under the current laws, we have seen several days of empty bread shelves at the grocery store, and so far we have had no shortage from our supplier yet. People can call or email us, and we can deliver breads within Belmont. Prices are very similar to grocery stores. Property taxes. Closely following the province's decisions, what is the impact on upcoming property taxes with the current COVID-19 situation? I understand property taxes for businesses will be reduced. For example, 50% school tax. Will you still raise the taxes 4%? It must be difficult for you as well, as well as you had presented a five-year financial plan and your answers might still take some time. I am confident there will be a deferred deadline. Thank you for your ongoing support in these challenging times for everybody Best regards, Vailmount Swiss Bakery Limited, Sylvia Jungle, and Bogdan Wozniak. Uh, most of this can be dealt with by staff, Mr. Administrator. Thank you very much. Are there any other public comments this evening? Because there is not a microphone there, Mr. Jamin, I'll just kind of paraphrase your comment for those at home. Okay, I will uh, speak louder too. Uh, this is Eugene Jamin from Belmont. Welcome. I uh, am here regarding CBT. I want to say thank you for your support and thank you for all that served on the committee. It was not an easy year. There, are, there will be another contract next year since we are in the fifth year of our present five-year contract. This leads to how things should be different. For me, it was last year that a determination was made to have the meeting where the division of who gets what was made in camera. And I am really thankful for that addition because it meant that we could be protected in the decisions that were made and to discuss them freely amongst ourselves. I say yes to the suggestions as to possible ways of improving the present process. It is remembering that it will be our money once approval by the Village Council is given. So it's not our money at the present moment. And I do see that, although it's never been exercised, that the Village Council could say no to a proposal that we have recommended. For whatever it's worth. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you for your comments surrounding the community initiatives program uh, and our current timeline. And as we head into negotiations with the Columbia Basin Trust, we will take those comments into consideration. Thank you. Further public comments this evening? Motion please to receive public comments. Councillor McLean, Councillor Pearson, are there, uh, 
All in favor? Opposed on the phone? Carries. Item 4.1, adoption of the minutes of the March 10, 2020 regular meeting. Councilor Blanchett, Councilor McLean, are there any, any omissions or errors? All in favor? Opposed on the phone? Carries. Is there anything out of the reading file that uh, catches your eye, Council? I see we have a uh, consideration for food security. It is the second letter asking for a uh, allowance for chickens, and in this case, goats. Uh, staff is tracking this. Thank you. 9.1, Columbia Basin Trust, Community Initiatives and Affected, Program, Affected Areas Program, Funding Recommendations. Before we begin, Council, I would like to thank Councillor G and uh, for representing the village at the table for the, uh, with the committee. I'd also like to thank Chair Jamin, who is with us in the room tonight. Thank you very much uh, for your service to that. Uh, I'm absolutely certain it was extremely challenging at times. Moving on with 9.1, first recommendation, that the seniors Housing Society receives $25,970 for their project. Vailmount Cares, phase one, be approved. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor McLean, uh, are there any, any discussion points? All in favor? Opposed on the phone? Hearing none, it carries. Number two, the Senior Housing Society receives $19,834 for their project. Room upgrades at the Golden Year Lodge be approved. Councillor G, Councillor McLean, discussion? All in favor? Opposed on the phone? Carries. Number three, that the Velma. Uh, yes, uh, Councillor. Actually, I hadn't, given, I hadn't thought about it earlier, but I have to recuse myself on the item three as I am a member of the executive or the board on that committee. Thank you very much. Mute yourself, Councillor. Are you you're a representative of the village? Yes. Uh, then you you you're good. You're good. Okay. Number three, that the Belmont Entertainment Society receives $30,000 for their project, new digital TV channel and programs be approved. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor McLean, discussion? All in favor? Carries. More than welcome to come back, uh, Councillor Pearson, when, uh, when you're ready. Okay, we're good. 1908, Mr. Administrator. That a uh, number four that the Vermont Junior Canadian Rangers Adult Committee receives. Oh. Councillor G. I, I, yeah, I need to recuse myself from the vote on the next two items. Next two. Four and number five. Thank you very much. Uh, just uh, your reasoning, please. Uh, I am the patrol leader for the Valley Junior Canadian Rangers, and I am on the executive for the Royal Canadian Legion. Thank you. Number four, that the Valmont Junior Canadian Rangers Adult Committee Society receives $9,616 for their project, Junior Canadian Rangers Equipment, be approved. Councillor McLean, Councillor Blanchett, any discussion? All in favor? Opposed on the phone? It carries. Uh, Councillor Pearson, will you be stepping out for this next one? Uh, yes, Your Worship. I'll be recusing myself also on item five as I'm an executive member for the Royal Canadian Legion. Thank you very much. Uh, 1909 for both of those. Number five, that the Royal Canadian Legion branch number 266 receives $30,000 for their project facility upgrades be approved. Councilor McLean, Councilor Blanchett, discussion? All in favor? Carries. 1910. 
Just wait for uh, Councillor G to get maximized. I'm here. Thank you very much. Number six, that the Belmont Community Bus Society receives $60,000 for their project, Belmont Community, Community Bus Society bus purchase be approved. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor McLean, discussion, all in favor, opposed on the phone, carries. Number seven, that the Vailmount Minor Hockey Association receives $20,824.42, down to the cent, for their project, minor hockey equipment and training be approved. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor McLean, discussion, all in favor, opposed on the phone, carries. Number eight, that the Village of Valmont receives $15,000 for their project, Centennial Park Washing Plans, be approved. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor McLean, any discussion? All in favor? Opposed on the phone? It carries. Just we're just having a technical issue here. We can just resolve that quickly. Sorry. Will this require a reset? A uh, recess, Mr. Administrator. Please, briefly. Motion, please, to uh, convene, uh, head to a recess, please. Councillor McLean, Councillor Blanchett, all in favor? Opposed on the phone? Carries, 1912. While we deal with this technical issue. Number nine, uh, motion, please, to reconvene. Councillor McLean, Councillor Blanchett, all in favor? Opposed on the phone? Carries, 1913. Number nine, that the Belmont Community Sports Day Association receives $8,103.55 for their project, concession phase two be approved. Councillor McLean, Councillor Blanchett, discussion, all in favor? Opposed on the phone? Carries. Marcia, yes. Step out as I work at the library. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eugene. Number 11, sorry, number 10, that the Belmont Public Library Association receives $9,000 for their project. Library computer upgrades be approved. Councillor McLean, Councillor uh, Councilor Pearson, thank you. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed on the phone? It carries. Is Councillor G able to? Uh, see us and hear us yes I can see you I can hear you thank you very much yes please Councillor Blanchetta was approved Number 11, that the Robson Valley Spay and Neuter Society receives $5,000 for their project, Spay Neuter Vaccine Project, be approved. Councillor McLean, Councillor Blanchett, discussion, all in favor, opposed on the phone, carries. Number 12, that the Canoe Valley Community Association receives $2,720 for their project, finishing touches for child care licensing be approved. 
Councillor McLean, Councillor Blanchett, discussion? All in favor? Opposed on the phone? Carries. Number 13, that the Valmont Learning Society's request of $50,000 for their project, the Grocer Growing Container, be denied. Councillor McLean, Councillor Blanchett, discussion. All in favor? Opposed on the phone? It carries. Number 14, that the Valmont Pines Golf and Country Club receives $60,500 of the $89,340 requested for their project. Golf Course Enhancement and Equipment Revitalization Project be approved for the purchase of a fairway mower only. Councillor McLean, Councillor Blanchett, discussion? All in favor? Opposed on the phone? Carries. Number 15, that the Vail Mountain Area Recreation Development Association receives $116,740 for their project. Swift Creek Trails project be approved. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor McLean, is there any discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Opposed on the phone? It carries. Number 16, that the Valmont Curling Club receive $118,227.53 for their project, Valmont Curling Club Plant Replacement, be approved. Councillor McLean, Councillor G. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Opposed on the phone? It carries. Thank you, Council. 9.2 Municipal Street, line painting request for quotes. Uh, the recommendation here that Ardvork Pavement Marking Services be awarded the 2020 Municipal Line Painting Contract in the amount of $8,322.40. Council's wish. Councillor Blanchett. Councillor G. Any discussion? All in favor? Opposed on the phone? Carries. 9.3, Trans-Canada Yellowhead Association, AGM, travel cost for Councillor Pearson. Recommendation here that the report be uh, received. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor G. Uh, is there any discussion on this? Councillor Pearson, do you know if this, uh, if the AGM is still proceeding as planned? Uh, no, actually, uh, at this point, it is uh, postponed like uh, all other events for uh, the time being uh, with no scheduled date at this point. Thank you. All in favor of receipt? Opposed on the phone? Carries. 9.4, we have a request from our housing committee uh, looking to have a representative of the First Nation Rec uh, motion, please. Councillor McLean, Councillor G. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Opposed on the phone? It carries. We also, under 9.5, have another recommendation from the Housing Committee uh, to do with uh, revised terms of reference uh, that they be adopted as presented. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor McLean, discussion on the terms of reference as presented. All in favor of adoption? Opposed on the phone? Carries. 10.1, Village of Elmont five year financial plan bylaw number 820 2020. I'll say that one five times fast. Uh, first and second reading, please. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor McLean, any discussion on first and second reading? Thank you, Mrs. McNee, for the uh, fine report and the fine work throughout this process. All in favor? Opposed on the phone? Carries. 
10.2. Village of Elmont uh, Council Procedure Bylaw number 815, 2020, be given second reading as amended. Uh, Councillor Lanchette, Councillor McLean, uh, discussion. Uh, we're all aware of the uh, amendment that I'd submitted for uh, for your review and uh, the recommendation in that uh, be uh, refer back to staff for the uh, legalese and checkpoints and things of that nature. Do you need a motion to that effect? Yes, please. So uh, on the amendment, Councillor Blanchette, Councillor McLean, any discussion on the amendment? All in favor of the amendment? Opposed on the phone on the amendment? It carries. And that uh, on the motion as amended. Councillor McLean, Councillor Blanchette, any discussion on the motion as amended? All in favor? Opposed on the phone? It carries. Council reports. Council Pearson, what did you get up to? Uh, well, in light of everything that is going on in the community, I had nothing to report in the last two weeks. Very cool. Councillor G. Uh, I attended the uh, CBT public meeting on the 8th, um, and then I attended the CBT deliberation meeting on the 15th. Other than that, I've been practicing my social distancing, and now I am staying home for the next two weeks. <laughs> that is my report. Thank you very much for showing the leadership that that takes, Councillor Jean. Thank you very much. Councillor McLean? I have been busy with teleconferences for the Columbia, Columbia River Treaty uh, Local Government Committee. Um, we have had teleconferences regarding our structure and role of the committee itself, um, as well as an update from the negotiators. Uh, these updates are available on the Columbia River Treaty uh, website for anyone who's interested in reading them. This is, um, I believe it's negotiation meeting number nine. So that if anybody is interested and wanted to see what was going on there, it has been shared on their website and you can have a look there. And that's all I have to report. Awesome. Uh, Brack, has that been postponed? Well, yes, it has. Um, they have decided, of course, to put off coming to Vail Mount, much to our dismay. We finally got them to agree to do it, and we're all excited. And now they are just saying postpone, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, given the uh, s uh, situation, I understand, mm -hmm. but I'm still mm -hmm. disappointed. Yeah, and particularly at that time of year, it would have been a good time of year for them to see what things look like here. Yeah, uh, uh, even the in-person meeting for... Uh, BC Hydro's Chem Basket Debris Committee has been uh, rescheduled. Uh, instead of having in person, it will be d done by electronic participation. Oh, okay. On that day, on May 5th, Councillor Blanchett? Everything I had was cancelled. Um, I've had a gazillion emails, as we all have, um, and I went to CBT on the 8th. And I just want to thank everybody. Um, all of the public for going to the CBT and listening to all of the um, applicants and to thank the CBT committee and Eugene Jamin as chair and Sherry um, for Councillor uh, G for stepping in and doing all of the um, being on the committee. Um, it's a really hard um, committee to be on and I want to thank everybody for putting themselves out there and helping us decide all of this. That's no easy task for uh, participants. It's very hard. And proponents to get up and yeah. sell their wares. It's a hard process, but it's worth it because the community benefits from it. So. Absolutely. Uh, March 8th, I att also attended the public input session. Uh, thank you again, Councillor G and the committee, Chair Jamin. Thank you very much. Uh, 
aside from the daily updates from Dr. B uh, Bonnie Henry, our provincial health officer, uh, my schedule looked like this. Uh, March 11th, Caribou Recovery Update. March 11th, teleconference with Simp First Nation. March 13th, meeting with Mayor Runson at Bride. March 16th, Prince George Regional Advisory Committee. And Mr. Uh, Robinson, this has been forwarded to staff. Uh, March 17th, teleconference with BC Mayor's Chairs and the Ministry of Health and Municipal Affairs. March 19th, Regional District Fraser Fort George Regular Board via electronic participation. March 20th, uh, the British Columbia State of Provincial Emergency update with our MLA and uh, colleagues throughout Highway 16, Mayor Runtz, Director Allen, uh, Marilyn Hall, Director Kevin Dumphy, and Chair Kane of the Regional District. March 20th, uh, we had an interim CBT board meeting. Uh, we were originally scheduled to meet in Invermeer on April 3rd, but uh, given the current situation, uh, we are now meeting uh, via teleconference and electronic participation. March 22nd, had a phone meeting with Mayor Blackwell from Clearwater. March 23rd, uh, an update with School District 57 Superintendent Anita Richardson. Uh, March 23rd, uh, teleconference with BC Mayors, Chairs, Ministry of Public Safety and Municipal Affairs. Almost rhymes. And then again on March 23rd, an update from the Premier's Office and Minister James, uh, Ministry of Finance. Uh, a $5 billion uh, recovery budget for uh, small business and workers, which, is, which would be very well received. Uh, been a lot of Companies approach me locally, uh, companies saying, we've got orders, we've got orders to fill, we have purchase orders signed, but we're not doing it at the risk of our workers. So I really uh, commend their decision. Uh, it was done in collaboration with their workers. So there have been some voluntary layoffs, but we are seeing some resources being generated from the province and from the government of Canada. Uh, that's my last couple of weeks. Motion please to receive public comment. Any discussion points or, or um, questions towards public comment? Or not public comment, uh, council reports. Mm -hmm. All in favor of receipt? It carries. We now uh, ask that uh, we proceed in camera uh, under 14.1 uh, to discuss one item per section 91J of the Community Charter to discuss matters related to J, information that is prohibited or information that if it were presented in a document would be prohibited from a disclosure under Section 21 of the Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor G, all in favour, opposed on the phone, and I'm sorry, Councillor Pearson, I should have asked if you were opposed to receiving the council reports as well. But didn't hear you chime sure. in, so. No, we're good. Thank you very much. We will now proceed in camera.